The nerves are probably getting worse at the moment for you, John, as, as, as it goes on. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, long, I saw Martin Silas here today as well. Yeah, I had a long chat with him. He's here to cheer on the boys. He's nervous as well, can you believe? Home for wonder, Michael dahl has been really good. That, that could be the crown and glory today, Skew and Survival. Well, I hope so, because the big problem all season, as everyone knows, has been scoring goals. Uh, so throw it for Woking State. Casey back to Cuthbert. Cuthbert launch it with his right foot. Search for Brown in left-hand side. Header in Phil from Graham. Good work there from Akino to lay it down for Brown. Brown turns now. Jane Luca through on goal. Luca say it's safe from Neil. What a chance there for Jaden Luca. One on one with Neil. Should have buried that, but a terrific save from the far goalkeeper. Yeah, it was. He should have buried it really. You know, he didn't really get a proper connection on it. I thought he could even have taken it on a little bit, but there you go. As I say, story of Woking season. Play community stadium. Woking nil, filed nil. Bournewood FC nil nil again. Woking. Just need a point to secure survival. Boko trying to keep hold of the ball. Now flicks it forwards towards Anson. Anson hooks it towards the centre. Brown runs onto it. Brown close to the box. Reese Brown. Was he brought down there from Gray? And the referee had a good view of that. He has given a free kick to Woking. And this will be taking about 22, 23 yards out. to yellow card shown to Sam Graham as well. His body shape is still square on to the ball. To the left though. Curtis Edwards hands on his hips. Can he take the perfect free kick? Will this place lift off in a sec? Just waiting for the referee to blow his whistle. So Edwards steps up, take the frigate, wraps his right foot round the ball, goes to the wall and hits over the bar on the follow-up from Jermaine Anderson just beyond the six-yard area. So Edwards' free kick hit the wall. It broke to Anderson just beyond the six-yard box, but he hit it over the bar with his right foot. Good opportunity there for Anderson. Great opportunity. Yet another chance goes begging. It wasn't the best of free kicks from Edwards. He kind of scuffed Lightly it. Here as well. Luca, both arms raised. He takes the corner from the right hand side. Header towards goal just over the bar from Dan Moss. Big opportunity there for Woking to break the deadlock. A free header for Dan Moss just over the bar, John. Yeah, another chance goes begging. You'd ideally have preferred someone like Cuthbert to be on the end of it, but it was again a great opportunity. And you really just hope Woking aren't going to rue these missed chances. You know, they've had three this half. Yeah, that's been a familiar story for Woking this season. Takes the ball a few yards more forward here. Yaslinen, in fact, having a few more touches. Yaslinen now is over midway inside his own half. Now Yaslinen, along towards Brown. Edge of the box, Brown. Tra now chess it towards Burko. Burko heads it down. Burko runs onto his own flick on. Burko puts the cross towards the back post. Almost found Moss headed away from Conway. Headed back to the box and Akinola. Was that handball there? Given uh, handball for Conway. Nothing given from the referee. Woken fans furious. Conway at the corner flag and testing with Moss. Moss trying to win it back. And Moss does win it back. Now crossing for the far side towards Burko. Burko touching the box. Burko shot wide the target. Big chance there for Kevin Burko. Slashed it with his right foot. And Chris Neal's left rooted to the spot that couldn't nestle into the bottom corners. Burko hit it across the face of goal. Great work there from Woking to win it back on the far side. It was Anderson who drilled in the cross his right foot. Control from Burko, killed the ball stone dead. But drilled the shot wide. 25 yards out. Edwards standing side on to the left of the ball. He can whip this towards the back post rather than going for a goal himself. Cross towards the back post, headed, it's hit towards goal, it's gone in! It's gone in and Woking have taken the lead! In the last minute, stoppage time, it's Tonji Akinola. A beautiful delivery for Curtis Edwards. And there was Akinola at the back post, tapped it in with his right foot, the kick off the inside the post and trickled in to the back of net. What a goal for Woken here in the fourth minute stoppage time, the first half from Tonji Akinola. John, just what Woken needed. Oh my goodness me, it could not have come at a better time. Great free kick from Edwards into the box. And there was, I think it was Akinola just to tap it home from point blank range. Joyous scene around here and rightly so. And it's what Woking deserve really after the way they played in the first half. They've shown no sign of nerves at all. Obviously they've missed three or four decent chances, but they've been the ones playing on the front foot all the time. And they've got their rich desserts. To Whitehead again. Now Moss wins it back in the centre, plays it back to Edwards, Edwards floats it with his right foot, here's Brown on the right hand side, edge of the box, plays it a couple yards behind to Jaden Luca. Luca now cuts in, Luca plays it short to Anza, Anza back heels it to Luca. Luca can't hit shot just wide, that's a good chance, a double advantage there from Woking, really nice combination play there, lovely layoff for Jane Luca and it's curling low shot just wide at the, at the post. 
Yeah, more good work though from Luke. But Hosanna goes long. Just behind halfway, Edwards heads it back into fouled half. Now Akinola gets there first. Casey hits off with Sebastian. Now Akinola halfway, heads it down to Anson. Anson turns, plays a short pass to Burko. Burko knocks it inside to Luca. Luca inside left. Here come Woken. Jane Luca first and forward. Still Jane Luca. What a run for Luca. Lays off to Brown. Brown shot deflected towards goal. Just wide. Should have been a second there for Woken. They start off the second half really brightly. Jane Luca has come out the second half excellently. Gave it to Brown. His shot just trickled wide via deflection. So it's Woken corner. Brilliant work again from Luca. Brown, he, he just sort of got caught under his feet a little bit, so he couldn't quite get a good connection on it, but it's still corner to work. So Jane Luca, as John just alluded to, will be taking this corner kick. Luca towards the back post, and it falls here. We're shining to back of net. It's Akinola again. Woking a 2 0 up. A humongous step towards National League safety. Taji Akinola has really stepped up and been that hero for Woking today. Corner in for Jane Luca. Akinola smash it into the bottom corner and Woking have doubled their lead. Well, a magnificent strike from Akinola. He really kept his head, looked up and drilled it low and hard into the bottom corner of the net. Fantastic for Woking and that really does give them some breathing space. Having said that, they mustn't take their foot off the gas. Incredible. That was a brilliant corner, by the way, for Jane Luca, who has been outstanding at the start of the second half. And Sanji Akinola was there. One touch, smashed it into the bottom corner. No chance at all for Chris Nils. Actually receiving treatment at the moment. And this place, the temperature in this place has gone off a notch or two now. The crowd are believing Michael Dooling has a smile on his face. Outside of his box, Yaskline now telling his team to push higher up. Yaskline up towards Anson, reaches Brown though, inside left. Woken in the attacking third, Brown out on that left-hand side, plays it through now, has a chance for a third. It's played square towards Luca, and it's deflected off Conway into the hands of Niels Anson, who squared that towards Luca. Well, scores at the bottom, Alden Wilson 2 all, and Solihull Moors, York City 0-0. Cuthbert with the throw, shove so halfway, headed in the field from Conway. That finds his teammate Hosanna, Hosanna. Lifts it up in the air in the centre circle. Akinola heads forwards towards the inside left. But Burko loses balance, gets Hosanna. Good work there for Oyleke to step in. Now Burko into the feet. Edwards woken in attacking third. Edwards finds Kendall. Left side of the box. Kendall's shot across the face of goal and just trickles wide. Really good chance there for a third goal. And third chance for Charlie Kendall. Lovely ball from Edwards. And that shot from Kendall wasn't too far from going in, John. It wasn't, but it was lovely work from Edwards. He kept his cool, kept his imposed composure. Picked out Kendall and it was a decent snapshot, really. And well, he gets a nice little round of applause as well from the Woking fans to our left. He certainly enjoyed that moment, that young fan. So a throw from Conway. Now Conway has it back off Walker. Conway drifts inside, close to the D. Squares it now to his right. Chance across to come in. And now a shot towards the near post. Good save there from Yaskline. It was Connor Barrett. Just drove into the box on the right-hand side. Tried to beat Yaskalainen and at his near post in the run, and he's really stepped up yeah. massively. Outstanding performances from him. Yaskalainen with the free kick towards the area. Headed away for long. Ball still looping up inside the box. Luca wins header. Now Graham heads out the box again. Header one there from Akinola. Now it falls here for Burko! That is outstanding. Another goal here at the Lafe Community Stadium for Kevin Burko. Inside left, just under 25 yards out. Whacked it with the laces of his left boot. No chance of Chris Neal. 3-0 to Woking, and they'll be remaining in the National League next season. Goodness me, it's that man, Burko, again with that left foot of his. What an absolute pile driver. He was miles out. Hit it low and hard, and it went past the keeper, and hopefully that's it. That was some hit there for Kevin Burko. Hit it so sweetly with that left foot. And this has been a superb performance in Woking. They would have taken any sort of a right result, but they've done this in style this afternoon. It could be even more than three. Three's the least they deserve. That was a superb hit from Kevin Burko. That's it, the throw case. He eventually receives the ball. Remember... Off the foul support and now throw taken towards Walker. Is Kendall just outside the box? Goes a shot straight at Neil. And now Neil will just look forward to it. Now gets down the far side, holds off Morris Edwards, turns it. Maybe chance number four. That is that. Woking 
remain in the National League. What a game for Woking. Again, so many nerves coming into today, but the players didn't feel any nerves at all. They defeated Fylde by three goals to nil and an accomplished team performance, probably the best under Michael's Daw Michael Dawes' reign. A John Sant, pure motions, Woking are safe in National League. So much relief, so much joy around the place at the moment. Well, never in doubt, was it? <laughs> right from the outset, though, Woking were on it. It's been a superb performance. It really has, as I say. You know, you wondered in the first half whether they were going to rue those missed opportunities, but they got their noses in it just before half time. And then in the second half, they powered on, they never let up. The intensity levels were excellent, and they scored three really good goals and, you know, deservedly run out winners today. And what really impressed me was that they showed no anxiety at all. They were supremely confident out there. and. That's down to the manager, really, getting the players properly prepared, and they were excellent today.